Hey, what's up guys? It's Jack. Welcome back. And as you can see, I just got a message here from Scuffmar. Pretty much uh, telling me to get my KD up or whatnot. So, uh, just playing around. And as you can see, he's actually a YouTuber. And uh, I just looked at it as a playful message. And I'm like, hey, cool, another YouTuber, you know, just sending a cool message, you know, whatever. Um, looking at the leaderboards, he's, uh, he's a good player, you know. More props to you. And this, this next game here is about to start. And uh, I end up getting another message from this guy. Uh, again, this is not like the most hateful message ever or anything like that. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's not hateful at all. But I think it could be set as a, as a prime example of what not to do. You see what he's saying right here? You know, let me show you something, rookie or whatever. So I'm like, oh, great. I just came up here to relax and play a nice little game in the morning. And this guy's already talking some trash. So I'm like, all right, all right, let's get it on. So put on my uh, VMP class and, um, you know, this is the game that uh, follows. And, um, you know, I had to slow down a little bit because the rule of thumb is if you're in a lobby uh, and the other player is uh, good or better than you or whatnot, you know, you don't want to be too overly aggressive. So I s I'm playing a little bit slower than I uh, usually am in this game. Just, uh, just to make sure I don't do anything stupid. So... And I saw it as an opportunity to, uh, you know, put the guy in his place. So, and here it is. So, uh, yeah, and uh, wait till you see the message that he sends me afterwards or whatnot. I usually don't respond to messages or whatnot, and it's just that uh, I figured I would respond this time. You know, it's like, hey, things went well, and uh, yeah, well, you'll see at the end of the video, but... <laughs> It just kind of made me giggle and laugh a little bit. It, uh, like I said before, this isn't like extreme case trash talking or whatnot. It's just, uh, I guess it was just for fun purposes or whatnot. I guess, I don't know if this guy was going to try to use me as an example for his video or whatnot. Like, you know, I, I don't know. But it seemed to basically backfire against him to say the least, that's for sure. So, you know. You know, there's one thing, you know, I think, I think, I personally think trash talking is a, is a healthy thing in YouTube as long as it doesn't get, you know, carried away into, you know, some of the stuff that you guys uh, have seen probably in the past in, you know, like MLG tournaments or whatnot, or, or some of the other stuff you guys see on YouTube. Which, uh, by the way, uh, all I'm going to say is that YouTube is just so full of drama lately. It's like, where did all the fun go? What is the community turning into or whatnot? But that's all I'm pretty much going to say, because if you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that, well... I try to stay away from drama as much as possible. So, anyway, just uh, kind of shaking my head and moving on with it. Uh, and to be honest, you know, with uh, with this video, it's uh, it's kind of hard to just commentate over something like this because there's only so much you can say about something like this, and it's it's definitely not like an extreme case or anything like that. I mean, it's you know, but you know, sometimes you can't really just be. That guy that just thinks that they're all that and just talk trash just because of uh, of whatever the situation may be. Because sometimes you just never know. Things could just fall back and just uh, bite you in the ass sometimes. Is, which is basically how life goes sometimes. But um, yeah, I just thought this uh, video would make a good addition to the trash talking. Again, from some of the things from some of the things that you guys seen that I posted on my on my channel over here. Uh, this is definitely not an extreme case, so, uh, scuff Mar, but by ever chance, if you're watching this video, uh, this is definitely not something that's, like, meant to be hateful or anything, it's just, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes, man, you just gotta, you know, sometimes you just gotta, gotta be careful, you can't, you know, try and say that you're gonna, you know, show, show somebody something like that, and then for it to have you for it to backfire and bite you in the ass is just uh, not a good thing because sometimes you just never know. You know, and like I told you guys before, stats in a game mean nothing. And the thing is, sometimes you just can't, you just shouldn't just talk trash out of nowhere because, you know, you never know what could happen. So, I don't know. Like I said, this guy was probably trying to use me as an example for their video. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm just saying that's what it kind of looks like. But again, I could be wrong, but uh, it's just... Uh, pretty cool that it backfired on him so uh i hope you really guys i hope you guys really enjoy this gameplay uh, it's really early in the morning so my commentary or my voice may sound a little weird but 
I wanted to basically get this one out of the way and I wanted to make one, you know, and it's the beginning of the week for me. I just had a day off, so even though I've been having trouble sleeping, but uh, just had a day off, so just figured I'd start the week off right and make a YouTube video because uh, the work grind has been real lately. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I have uh, around this time of year, I got about a month or so left of a uh, tiring work grind because I'm on a seasonal job. So once that's over, I'm going to have more time to stream and more time to post more videos, which is something I'm definitely looking forward to. And uh, at the end of the video, you're actually going to see a little uh, little outro at the end. So and I'll be on and I'm on Twitter and I'm on streams. Uh, excuse me, stream <laughs> uh, Twitch, uh, which I haven't streamed in forever, but I will get back to doing that because I enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, and uh, one more thing that I was actually really curious to talk to you guys about is um, should, you guys want me to stream here on YouTube or you guys want me to stream on Twitch? So I think it'd be cool to I haven't streamed on YouTube. I've only streamed on Twitch and it's been a lot of fun. And um, most of you obviously watch my YouTube videos, so I think it'd be pretty cool for me to give YouTube streaming a try. Um, and maybe uh, get to know some of you guys a little bit more. Some of you guys have... Uh, Given, given some really cool comments in my comment section, and some of you guys seem like really cool cats, so, you know, if I were to chat with some of you guys while I've been streaming, that'd be pretty badass, because quite frankly, that's the biggest thing about streaming with me, it's like, the reason why I enjoy streaming the most is, is for the interaction with other people, and pretty much everybody I've interacted with on Twitch, uh, whenever, when I was streaming, before the season of my work started or whatnot, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was really cool, you know, got to talk to some people, you know, got to, you know, some people ended up following me, I followed them. It was pretty cool. And of course, some people on my friends list were watching too. But, you know, it just seems a hell of a lot of fun. And when the new Call of Duty comes out, you know, just to start fresh and to see if I can, I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to do the prestige race because uh, it is pretty damn tiring. And at the same time, I don't know, I don't know who I'm going to want to do it with me, but who knows whether I'll do it or not. But I'm just, um, you know, I am looking forward to November already, believe it or not, because it's uh, around my favorite time of year, and we got that new Call of Duty coming out, and this time we get double the dose, we get Infinite Warfare along with COD 4, so it'll be interesting to see, and, and as I've said in one of my previous videos, I've never played COD 4, so it'll be pretty interesting. Black Ops 1 was my first serious COD game, so um, it'll be pretty interesting to play COD 4 Remastered, and <clears throat> as well as... Uh, uh, as as well as Infinite Warfare, I don't think Infinite Warfare is going to be as bad as people are, are as people are predicting it to be. Uh, but again, you know, September is around the corner, so we will see in September. Well, it's actually not around the corner; it's more like down the street. But uh, come multiplayer reveal in September, uh, I'm sure we're going to know a lot more, and we can make a better judgment by then. But at the same time, as time and history has shown, you can't really fully judge a Call of Duty game until you get literally get your hands on it and play it yourself, because you know, a game could look better than what it is when they promote it, or it can look worse than what it is when they promote it. It, it all depends on how well they promote it, and Activision, as you guys know, promotes their games really well and makes them look really, really good before you even get your hands on them. So, uh, long story short, we're just going to have to wait and see how uh, the game plays when we get our hands on it. So, But nonetheless, it's still exciting. We get double the dose, and, um, you know, as far as Christmas is concerned, by the way, this is a little off-topic. I'm... Uh, you know, I've been getting that casual itch again, you know, uh, I played a lot of certain games growing up and, and one of the reasons, one of the games that I really love is God of War and the new God of War looks great for me 3 and on top of that, there's also the fact that uh, I grew up on PlayStation as well and there's uh, there's been a few games that have been called that are going to be remastered that are going to come out, Crash 1, 2 and Warped and there's a lot of games that I love on PlayStation as well as Nintendo so, I don't know, come Christmas I might get a PlayStation 4. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to migrate to PlayStation 4 over Call of Duty, though, because uh, I really love my Elite controller, and, you know, I don't want to spend another couple hundred bucks on a scuff, because PlayStation doesn't have their own special controller like Microsoft does, and I'm very satisfied, and, you know, from what I've seen, they seem like they play just about the same anyway, even though, you know, PlayStation has the upper hand in terms of performance slightly, because, you know, they get first dibs now this time around, but anyway, um... Uh, in closing, I just want to say Scuffmar, GG's my friend, uh, <laughs> uh, and as you can see right here, uh, you know, he's uh, blaming his team, and it's true, most of the time when I play, uh, my teammates are uh, definitely not good and I have to carry in order to get the win, and uh, 
As a matter of fact, I'll even say like the couple games before this one, you know, uh, actually the one before this one I won, but there was like one or two that I played against him, I think, that where, uh, you know, the other the other team was way better. My team was really, really bad. They couldn't even get 10 kills. <laughs> And uh, I couldn't get the win. I couldn't carry enough to get the win. And, you know, it's really hard when another good player is on the other team. So, But um, last game and as well as this game, as you guys saw, things uh, turned around for me. So I was able to take advantage of it at the right time. And I end up replying, which is something I, I rarely do, as you can see. So, yep, he's going on YouTube. <laughs> I was actually going to type, you're going on YouTube for looking like an idiot, you know. <laughs> but I decided not to do that because that's just, that was just a little too mean and this guy wasn't really that mean in his message, so I didn't want to be mean, you know. I I try to be respectful. <laughs> but um, anyway, with that being said, guys, uh, that is pretty much it. Um, and as you'll see here, I end up uh, blocking him because uh, I didn't want to keep going back and forth. And, you know, this guy seems a little immature. No disrespect. <laughs> it's like, oh, I've got more followers. It's like, hey, good for you, you know. It <laughs> uh, doesn't matter whether you have more followers or not, in my opinion. It doesn't matter if you're the small guy or the big guy. Just uh, sometimes, you know, trying to, you know, make somebody else look bad by saying you're going to show them something in it to bite you in the ass. Just something you shouldn't do because you just never know what will happen. So, I hope lesson is learned here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, let me know. And if you don't, let me know what I can do to make my future videos better. Uh, sorry if the commentary is a little uh, iffy, but <laughs> I haven't been getting that much sleep lately. So... I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoy the little outro picture and see ya.